Hello and welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta Smith. We are talking today about WHO's new air quality guidelines. And our expert is Dr. Maria Nera. Welcome, Maria. Maria, tell us what is new in WHO's new air quality guidelines. What is new, essential, is that we need to lower, lower the recommended levels of exposure to air pollutants in order to protect people's health. So we know now that even exposure to a very low levels of certain pollutants that we are breathing every day will put us at risk. And that's why for six key pollutants, we are recommending lower levels that uh, will be protecting your health. The important message of these guidelines is that if those recommendations of WHO are implemented, particularly for PM 2.5, which is one of the most uh, dangerous for our health, we could save 80% of the total number of deaths that we have every year due to air pollution. And that number is 7 million premature deaths caused by exposure to air pollution. So as you can see, Vismita, we have an incredible opportunity here that we cannot miss to protect our health. Maria, elaborate please on these six pollutants that we must control in the air that we breathe. Yes, there are six uh, pollutants that are very much of concern for our health. One of them is the, the so-called PM, so particulate matter 2.5. It's a, such an, a small, a small particle that can go very easily to your lungs. And from our lungs, will not stay there. It can go even to the bloodstream and from there reach any organ in our, in our body. Then we have PM10, which is a little bit uh, bigger, and then other four uh, pollutants that are coming essentially from traffic or from the combustion of uh, fossil fuels. And uh, I'm sure that you hear about SO2 or NO2 or, or ozone or uh, carbon monoxide. All of those six are the ones that we are targeting. And if we are successful on implementing those new recommendations and lowering the levels of those six uh, pollutants, we can save many, many lives. Maria, what have we learned so far about COVID-19 and air pollution? It's clear that uh, the bad quality of the air we breathe will be a major risk factor for acute and chronic respiratory diseases and cardiovascular diseases. In addition to that, if you are exposed to air pollution, you will develop certain diseases, underlying diseases, that will give you a greatest possibility of develop severe cases of COVID if you are uh, uh, affected. So we see a clear relationship between air pollution and the burden of COVID-19 in places that were very polluted. This is an additional reason why now on the recovery post COVID-19, we need to reimagine a greener world with uh, clean sources of energy, uh, a place where we can breathe air that is not killing us. Just to remember uh, all of the people that is listening to us, at the moment, 90% of the world population, 90% of the world population is breathing an air that is not respecting the recommended standards by the World Health Organization, the ones that will be protecting our health. Most of the, the decisions about re the reduction of air pollution, they need to come from governments, from, from mayors, from politicians. But as an individual, I can put pressure on my politicians for them to reduce those levels of air pollution and therefore protecting my life. Thank you, Maria. That was Science in 5 today. Until next time then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stick with science.